welcome back to my channel. So as you can see from the thumbnail, I am reorganizing my work corner and I am so excited. I've wanted to do this forever. I just wanted my own little section to be my own little um, like peaceful oasis and I was going for a bohemian theme because I just love that style and culture. So first I am moving everything out of the way. Um, at first I had a table there which was like a black top and white legs and I was like that has to go. So well, I'll come back to that. What I'm doing now is taking down all of these um, paintings and everything my daughter made for me when she was in kindergarten, like first grade in kindergarten. So she made a book like that for Mother's Day last year. It says my mom's name is Elizabeth. She's 71 years old. She lives in New Jersey. She has brown hair and brown eyes. My mom makes me feel best with snuggles. I love my mom when she snuggles with me. My mom and I like to watch TV. My mom really likes to read with me. She forgets to get my mask. My mom laughs when I play with her. And this is a picture of my mom, which is so cute because I like to wear my ears. So this was so adorable that she gave me this for Mother's Day last year. Was it last year? It was this year. It was this year. It was so cute. She was in first grade. So yeah, and, and she always said to like draw me little pictures and I hang them up on my wall so I could look at them while I'm working because I work from home. Anyway, so before all of this, right now I'm just putting up tape, painter's tape. Um, my husband has some scrap wood and he was like, do you need this wood for anything? I was like, actually, I would like to have a wooden desk because for my new office. So my husband and I spent a couple of days with the wooden desk and it came out beautiful. So right now I'm using bare paint and primer. I'm using my favorite color, which is forest green, which is not an easy color to find. And um, yeah, so I've been wanting to redo this for a very long time, especially I've been working from home for Over two years, I would say, since the pandemic. Maybe a little bit more. I don't have a stirrer, so I'm using a wooden stick. And I'm finally starting to do this, so this is so exciting. Look at that rich color. Now, I put the painter's tape on there so I wouldn't get paint like on the ceiling or on the sides, but I did. But I have a remedy for how you can get paint off that you get on outside of the painter's tape. Just have to keep watching. This is so much fun. It's like so relaxing, like a stress reliever. And it just clears your mind of everything. So I'm going back with a regular paintbrush, a small paintbrush, and going over the tops that I couldn't reach. And I'm doing it with the paintbrush again. This time I'm doing, I'm painting the borderlines before I paint with the roller. So I won't accidentally keep touching the ceiling with the roller. This is such a beautiful color. So, I have my acrylic white paint there. I have some soapy water. And I have a dish rag. So, you see that paint right there that got on the outside of the painter's tape? That's a lot of paint. So, I'm just going to scrub that off. And it comes off quite easily. You don't have to scrub too hard or too much because of the soapy water. And then I just wipe off the excess paint. And go back and paint it with white because the border is white and it also looks better this way because it looks like a fresh coat of white paint which makes it pop even more makes the green pop even more and I just did that all around the border that I made mistakes on 
Ah, na yun. <laughs> now it's time for decorating, the fun part. I've had these items in my corner for probably like a month, a little bit more. Those are the curtains that um, my husband's going to put up. He's going to put up some blackout curtains, but it's not going to be shown in this video. That is a tapestry that I'm going to put on the bench there. It's the yoga with the lotus in the background. So pretty. So for Bohemian, a slide of um, purples and pinks and greens and a lot of um, like bright colors too. So that bench, I want it to be um, a nice, relaxing sitting bench. So if I need to take a break from working and just get my eyes away from the screen, then I'll just sit on the bench, look at the window, especially during winter time when it's snowing. And my kids and I, we usually like to sit at the window and watch the snow, but we we have to sit on that heater, if you can see back there. But now we can use the bench to sit and just stare at the window because I could just stare at snow for like hours and just watch it. It's so amazing. And those pillows are so cute. It goes so great with that. This I thought was so adorable. I got most of everything that I got I got from Amazon and that gosh I can't remember where it is on the tip of my head but anyway I have full I have notebooks on my desk but I don't want any more notebooks on my desk so I want everything on my desk cleared except for pencils and sticky notes so I decided to get one of those oh, it starts with an M anyway I started to get one of those and just put my my um, notebooks in there and it just came out so great and it's not bulky or anything and those are the only two notebooks I need to put in there and that's it and I have lotion and lip gloss and sanitizer in my desk and I was gonna put it in there but it made it look too bulky so I'm like I'm, not, I'm just not gonna put it there and here are some more tapestries for the wall now, if you're wondering why I didn't do the entire wall, I didn't do the whole wall because I wanted to have um, my office corner, which is that, and I wanted it to be different than the rest of the room. But I will go back and paint that whole wall right there the same color. I just have to find time to go to Humvee Depot and get it. But originally, it was just supposed to be that corner. But I will paint the whole thing. So that is another um, yoga um, tapestry and the yoga person has the seven signs of chakra, positive chakra on there. I will go over it, but it's a lot. So just Google seven, seven signs of chakra and then you know all about it. It's like all about peace and energy. I don't know why I'm two stepping up on that short ladder like I'm going to fall. I'm just hammering another nail in there. Now this next picture you're going to see, I did this myself. The reason why it took me so long to finally do my corners is because I was waiting to finish my picture. Now, I was looking for art on Amazon, and now I'm, I'm, my next video, I'm going to do um, like a video, like, I'm going to show you how I drew it in my next video, but I saw this picture on Amazon, and I thought it was so beautiful and just so amazing, and I was like, oh my gosh, I have to have this picture, and then I saw the price. It was $69. I'm like, I am not paying $69. I'd rather just draw this myself. Now on the on Amazon it's a painting and I could have made this a painting but it's a lot of details and 
I don't have like the right tools to make those increment and those <laughs> those little small designs with the pencil without going outside the lines if I did then I would have painted it but I just use color pencil now it doesn't look as bright and colorful on that picture because that was before I sprayed it with adhesive spray now that I sprayed with adhesive spray it's a lot brighter and then you see the um, designs more clearly but I think it turned out really well it looks just like the picture so now I'm decorating my desk. Oh my that so that good. scarf on the table. The reason why I positioned it like that because I wanted to be like um, a, a sorry, like what? Um, oh, that says blunt life. It's an air freshener. I'll explain that in a minute. But I wanted to be like a sorry, like what? Um, ladies from India, the way that they wear their sari, like the tra traditional wear over their shoulder and then around their waist, which is so beautiful. So I wanted my desk to be like that. Not saying the desk was like a woman, I'm just saying it just for the style. So that bag is called a mystery bag. I went up north um, in New York and went to this shop that had a lot of different peaceful items and a lot of, um, chakra items and this was a mystery bag so you pay $20 or $15 for a mystery bag and normally I'm not for this because I don't want to spend money I'm not going to be happy with but you know I'm like I'll just be of interest so that a lot of things in the store was pertaining to like mushrooms and stuff like that and so that blunt life air freshener is just the name of the product and they had like gemstones in there and that jewel that I have on that necklace is there. Oh, that's the another mushroom. We saw so many mushrooms, mushroom designs in there. And that in my hand is a Buddha under a tree. I got it from the same store. I wasn't going to get it at first because I saw another Buddha item that I, I really, really loved, but it wasn't for sale. But they had like a, a display in front and a lot of the items in there were just for decoration. It wasn't for sale, but it looked just like the items that they sell. So I'm like, why would you have this in display if you're not selling it? And that is another freshener, um, Fruit Punch. It's supposed to deodorize your area, so I just tuck that right on in. And if you notice, I have stones around the booty tree. Those stones I got from the Renaissance Fair last month, this month. And this guy was like, okay, you pay a dollar and the fairies will help you choose which stone you want to use. So I picked the stone bag and so they was like, all you have to do is whisper your wish to one of the stones and the fairies will grant it. So, oh, that is a diffuser with a um, elephant on there. I've had that for a while, but it's so pretty. And it changes color when you turn it on. But yeah, so I just thought it was so cute just to surround the um, Buddha tree with the stones. So I'm trying to figure out if I want to keep that diffuser on the desk, if I want to put it somewhere else. And there's the lava lamp. I'm not going to use the lava lamp that often. I'll probably use it on like really cloudy days, maybe like when it's storming or something. But I have to remember that it's back there because typically when it's storming, I light, I love lighting candles. It's one thing that I love to do. But I will try to remember. <laughs> That's my husband in the camera that I didn't even notice until right now. <laughs> He's trying to help me decide on where to put things. And that is the bonsai tree that I've been eyeing for a while. And I wanted to put that on my desk too because if you know my channel, you know that I love trees. So why not have another tree on my desk and a live tree? I, I've had that tree on my desk for a week and a half and it's grown like twice the size. Oh my gosh, he is still in the camera. It grew like twice the size as that plant right there. Like it's way bigger than that now. And his face is in the camera. Oh, he's trying to help me plug it in. 
Okay, so now this is the rug for in front of the chair. So pretty and colorful and it goes with everything around there. So this is the final results. Now it's probably like, what time is it? Like 10 or 11, maybe like 11 o'clock at night. So it's a little bit dark, but all in all, I love this corner. I feel so comfortable and so relaxed. It's like a complete different environment, complete different vibes that I'm getting. Like a calming, relaxing, peaceful vibes, which is what I was going for. Oh, that bear is my husband. So cute. And there's my picture. Like I said, I sprayed adhesive spray on there so that the color mark color pencils don't smudge but it's a lot brighter than that now in the next clip i'm going to show you this again but it's going to be daytime so you can see a little bit more clearer and there's the pen pens pencils and the post-it notes so i'm trying to step back so you can see the whole area it just looks so comfortable like I can't wait for it to snow and I just sit there right out there at the window. Or I watch my kids sit there at the window. And here it has a look in the daytime. As you can see, I put the diffuser right there at the window, which I think looks great there. Oh yeah, my plan is way bigger than that now. I don't know if I should trim it or if I should let it keep growing. Because it's getting longer on one side than the other. And those are the fairy stones. I don't know what that blue lamp is about, but I just I asked my husband asked if I wanted it. I was like, yeah, I can use it for decoration. So that's my video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and push the notification button. That, that way you know the next time I upload a video, which is every Tuesday. Until next time, bye.